Welcome to part four of our presentation on Sightline ERP and what makes a world-class ERP system, the components of it. If you've missed our earlier portions where we covered production, planning, engineering, and inventory, we invite you to review parts one, two, and three. In this section, we're gonna be talking about purchasing and customer order entry. The advanced planning engine within Sightline will recommend to the planner's workbench what purchase orders need to be released. He can create purchase orders directly or purchase order requisitions. A requisition, of course, would need to go through an approval process, and there could be one to many line items on that requisition. Requisitions are also available for general use. Any user can go in and create a requisition if they have security to do so and submit that for authorization and approval. Requisitions then can be turned into purchase orders, or a purchase order could be created directly from the planner's workbench. There are two types of purchase orders within Sightline. Purchase orders that are just regular POs that have individual line items for specific quantities on specific dates, or blanket purchase orders, where the line item shows the contract between you and the vendor that you're going to buy 10,000 widgets over the next 12 months at $1.25 a piece, and then you release line items of that blanket order when you wish to receive specific quantities. Sightline supports the full EDI system, so if you want to do electronic data interchange with your vendor, you can create the purchase order in Sightline and send it out through an EDI translator and EDI van. Of course, purchase orders are then received at the dock. You can receive them with handheld barcode scanners, you can print labels out for the packages as they come in the door. You also can have quality inspection designed on a specific item by item basis and specific tests that must be passed before that item can be used in regular production or ship or sold to a customer. There's an optional vendor web portal that allows your vendors to log in, see the purchase orders, see requests for quote, update PO due dates, and manage consigned inventory. If you have inventory on hand from that vendor that is still owned by the vendor until you use it, the vendor can manage that inventory through a portal. On the sales order entry side, it parallels this to some degree. You can of course start with an estimate or a quote, and a quote can have one to many line items. I think the limit is about 9,999. And a line item can be associated with a custom routing and bill of material. So if you've perhaps never made the item before, or if it's a custom configured item, you can of course go in and tweak the routing and bill, roll up your costs, and present the quote. Quotes, of course, then can be copied to customer orders. We copy it rather than convert it because you may change it on the order. Perhaps the quote was for $10,000, but in order to get the sale, you agreed to 9,500. So you can see the original quote at 10,000, but the order at 9,500. And of course, the customer order can have as many line items as you wish. When you're entering the customer order and line items, there is an optional module where you can do real-time freight shopping. An inventory item, a customer order line item, may be an inventory item, may have an actual part number, or it may be what we refer to as a non-inventory item. Perhaps you're shipping the customer some, some brochures or some documentation or something that's not truly an inventory item and may have no charge. You also have on this side, parallel to the purchase order side, blanket orders for customer orders. So a customer may say, I'm going to buy from you 10,000 widgets over the next year and then issue releases to you. We will track, of course, the contract, the total consumed, and the dates of release and shipment. And just like on the purchasing side, there's a full EDI support for customer order entry. So a customer can send you an electronic document, an electronic purchase order, and you can transmit back to the customer an order acknowledgement, a shipping notification, an invoice, etc. And then, of course, there are multiple shipments potentially against the customer order. The shipments can have quality documents associated with them or other forms of documents that you have set up needing to go out with the shipment. Sightline supports a full, complex pick, pack, and ship process for high volume distribution and shipment, or a simpler process for equipment manufacturers where you're just going to 
bundle something up on a skid and ship one item. And we integrate with UPS and FedEx and optionally other carriers as well depending on which modules of Sightline you purchase. There is also an optional fully integrated e-commerce storefront that allows you to publish your catalog, give people a consumer-like shopping experience, but fully supports business-to-business -business transactions such as discounts, purchasing on purchase order or account, or purchasing on a credit card, and such. That concludes our presentation on sales. Please join us for part five where we'll discuss CRM and service.